We're here in Indonesia for this class in underwater survival. Example one, a type of anglerfish called a frogfish. You think you're looking at a yellowish sea sponge, and you are. But if you look very closely, you'll see a frogfish sitting there. That's what a frogfish does, sits there. So bigger fish get used to it and leave it alone. Example two, the ghost pipefish. These guys have evolved to mimic something no self-respecting predator would be caught dead eating. Ha, huh, seagrass? Hence, these ghost pipefish are free to drift wherever the tide takes them. Example three, the leaf scorpion fish. A similar strategy to the ghost pipefish. The leaf scorpion fish has evolved itself to look like a leaf on the sand. Example four, the cockatoo wasp fish. A final example of this scheme. Not only has the cockatoo wasp fish evolved to look like a dead leaf, it's learned to rock back and forth like a leaf would. So, what's the takeaway from today's class? To stay alive down here, morphing into a plant shape might be the way to go. Would this work for humans? Uh, probably not.